Prior to installing your wall sheeting, you should install any base trim or rack guard that is required. This trim will be attached to the base angle along the perimeter of your building and fastened with flathead screws. If your building has roll insulation, you will install the material as you install your wall panels. Measure and cut the insulation to the proper length. Pull the insulation tight against the wall and secure the insulation to the framing using double-sided tape. The double-sided tape can be pre-attached to the walls to make the installation quicker. The roll insulation shown in this video is made to overlap. Follow the manufacturer's instructions for installing each new sheet. Make sure to cut off any excess after installing each piece, especially around corners and openings. Your wall panel will be attached with fasteners to the metal frame. Panels are cut to length according to the construction plans, and some panels will need to be field trimmed to fit around openings as well as your end wall gable edge. You should be very cautious and careful whenever marking, drilling, or cutting your panels. Any errors in drilling or cutting at this stage can be costly as replacement panels may need to be ordered from the manufacturer. Prior to installing your wall sheeting, it's a good practice to pre-drill fastener holes into your panels. This will make the installation go much quicker when you start moving wall panels into place and help you keep your screw lines straight. Use a tape measure to determine where the screws should be installed to connect with each wall girt. Use a chalk line across the panel to keep your screw lines straight. Then drill holes into the overlapping ribs and the flats of your panels as shown in your construction plans. Note that when making these marks, you can stack multiple sheets and then pre-drill a few sheets at the same time. When installing sheets on walls, start at the back side of the building working towards the front, so that when the building is viewed from a normal sightline, you will not see the overlapping sheeting. As the sheets are lifted into place, you will want to make sure they remain level and even. If your building has base trim, wall sheets will sit level on top of the trim. If there is no base trim, consult your construction plans for where your panel should sit against a building and mark this line on the slab. Once the sheet is properly aligned and the ribs are plumb, screws can be installed through the pre-drilled holes and into the base angle, girds, and eave purlin. Note that the screws that attach sheeting and trims have special rubber washers to provide a seal between the screw and the material. When installing these screws, they should be tightened until the washer is slightly squished. For more information on this, please see the installation manual. Once the sidewalls are installed, end wall sheets can be installed, using the same technique used on the sidewall. Start by installing any insulation, then install the sheeting, making sure all panels remain plumb. Note that when installing sheeting on the end wall, the top of each panel will need to be trimmed to match the roof line. Be sure to follow your construction plans exactly, as you will have sheets cut specifically for each section of your end wall. You can install the panels uncut and then cut the gable line with a sawzall, or you can pre-cut the panels on the ground. Consult your construction plans carefully, as any errors in cutting can be costly in time and money. 